Prevention is the key to preventing stuck ferrule connections. I'll, I'll explain how I prevent my rods from ever locking up. Aloha guys, Silver Chris here. I'm working in my garage and every once in a while, uh, this guy who lives up the street says, Hey, that's Scuba Chris, and he'll come down and he'll hang for a little bit. But you know, he's not a pest or anything. He's actually a pretty nice guy. He's just kind of embarrassed to go to the shop and ask him questions on reels and rods. And I've been trying my best to help him out. So uh, one of the recent questions he's asked me is that he has this rod here. And this is the, um, the Hawaiian Custom Series, custom 13, uh, 13 foot, three inch surf rod, okay? Now his question was, is that once in a while it sticks, the pieces stick together because it's a three section sectional, all right? And he wants to know how, what can he do in the future to prevent that? He said that he tried to sandpaper it, but it didn't work. So I borrowed his stuff and lo and behold, it was pretty easy to figure out. Okay, for all sectional rods like this, this is what's known as a butt over ferrule connection. So um, this part here is the larger, wider section. The upper part, the thinner section will fit into this. Okay, now if you have to force it, don't force it because it's gonna be a hard time trying to get it off. Some people put ice on it, which, and you know, the cold temperature will cause things to shrink. Cause come on, right? Cold things cause things to shrink. No comment. But uh, if you try to force it off, you may end up cracking this. So, and there's an easier way to do this. So, um, as you can see, it's just barely in there. But if you try to force that in there, it will go in, but try to get it off. That's another story. So I'm gonna show you how you first can check to see what the problem is. And I guarantee I know what the problem is. Okay, a lot of times when these sectionals come from the factory, it would be the worst thing possible to make these uh, blanks here too thin. They would rather err on the side of being too thick. So to test for this, uh, what you do is I have a micrometer, all right? I measure the inside part, okay? Right there, the inside part, which is telling me 12.37 millimeters, okay? But the end is what goes in first into the ferro connection. So we measure that. Remember, 12.37. Now look at it. 12.49. It is thicker on the tip. Now the tip part is what goes in. So this ferro connection is correct over here. We, that's what it should be. But this, this over here is roughly 12 millimeters thicker. Uh, not, I'm sorry, not 12. It is 0.12 millimeters thicker on the very tip. So what we need to do is very simple. I'm gonna give it a light sanding with this coarser black sandpaper and finish off with this finer sandpaper. Now you, you don't wanna overdo it because you're gonna make it too loose. So you just do it just a little at a time just to see how, how it happens. So when he told me he was sandpapering it, I, I watched how he demonstrated. He got a piece of sandpaper, just hold it like that, go back, forth, back, forth that's not gonna do it. It has to be applied pressure to a certain area. So start off with a really rough one. Go on, on the upper one half of this ferrule connection. Then finish off with the finer sandpaper on that section. Okay, I just gave a very light sanding on this. And 12.38. All right, so let's see what happens. It should fit, should, and it does. Look at that. It soon gets a nice friction fit, but I can put it in and out now. See that? That's all you have to do. You don't have to use ice, you don't have to use WD-40, this is all you have to do. Now when people say, oh, I sandpapered it, they're just grabbing a piece of sandpaper and going over the whole thing without applying direct pressure on what counts the most, which is towards the tip. Only thing I did was a half inch all towards the tip area, concentrated very lightly, 
with the coarse one and then with the fine one. I went three times because I'm only doing a couple turns each time and that's all you have to do. So if you're having problems with a stock rod, the sectional, you don't have to sell it, don't have to put it in storage, just have to use a little sandpaper and a little patience. That's all it's going to do. All right? Thank you. Just remember this process is good for any sectional rod. Cold climates, the, the rods will contract. The hot climates, uh, rods will expand. This is for in and out only action, no up or down sideway action. Remember, um, to, it's always better to have it a little snug.